This is Omar Ahmed for IFL TV in association with MTK Global. We're in Las Vegas. Pleasure to be joined by former freeweight world champion, Jamaican boxing legend Mike McCallum, the real body snatcher. How are you, sir? I'm fine, thank you. We're here in Las Vegas. Uh, tell me about this gym, uh, who you've got down here, what fighters are here. It's good. It's a, it's a, it's a lovely gym, you know. Well, a lot of good fighters come in and out of here. And uh, I'm going to see her train with Devin Haney. Controversial move from the WBC. What did you make of it, uh, Mike? Well, he's a world champion, you know what I mean? <laughs> he's got to be. He's good. <laughs> I like it. He loves it and I like it. What's he like in the gym in terms of uh, his work ethic, uh, his dedication? He's a very young guy still. For a young guy, he's, he's, he's very dedicated. Yeah. yeah, he's serious about boxing. He don't play. He want to learn. He want to be best. He want the best champion here in Vegas in the world. So he work hard. He's uh, very dedicated, like I said, and he listens. You've been around the sport for a very long time. How highly do you rate Devin Haney amongst all the fighters you've seen? Very highly. Like I said, he's very dedicated. And for a young for a young man at that age, and he's so dedicated. You know what I mean? He still drink boxing. He don't do no, not much for a fight, train, fight. So that's good for a young man, you know. Well, I'm sure we're going to uh, see him in some huge fights down the line and achieve greatness. Obviously, like yourself, you were involved in, in, in some mega clashes. When you look back at your career, uh, what do you see as your, your fondest memory, Mike? Uh, that Don LaCour fight was a very good fight. And the Julian Jackson fight was good too. Because them, them guys were killers, you know. Jackson was well, all knockouts. And I got to knock him out, so you know it was a good thing. And the Curry was a bad boy, bad man, the Cobra. And I got to beat him, so and, and McCory too. All them guys was good guys. Someone you know well, Roy Jones Jr. Uh, yeah, it was a good fight too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I was kind of out of my prime a little bit. I was older, you know. But he was a bad boy too. Absolutely. There's been talk about potentially him and Bernard Hopkins having a trilogy. Uh, <laughs> they're gonna. Uh, uh, no. Yeah, the approaches have been made from Russia and the Middle East to host that fight. <laughs> what are your thoughts on that? I gonna be something else. I I love to see that. You like? Yeah. Roy was a bad boy. You're not gonna make a comeback, are you? No, uh, no. Maybe, maybe, yeah. maybe, maybe if they, if it is lucrative that they make. How old are them now? Ah, oh, Bernard must be fifty. Uh, no, I'm making a comeback. I'm 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 done with that. Even sure even some Middle East money. Maybe. It all depends. <laughs> it all depends. The money is right to get about. You're going to do it. How's life anyways for, for Mike McCallum? What do you get up to, apart from coming to the gym and working with Devin and all these other fighters? What do you do day to day, Mike? Yeah, I, I was big belly before because I wouldn't do nothing. But now I'm a little bit nicer. I'm looking a little bit better. So that's good. But, you know, I think I may start walk a little bit, you know, walk some more. I, we don't run right now. Let's all walk. In the morning, it's early. Let's walk some more, you know what I mean? I'd be all right. OK, Mike, just to round this interview off, we've got a huge clash uh, this Saturday night with Canelo and Kovalev uh, in Vegas. What are your thoughts on the fight? Who are you going for? Two bad boys. Two bad boys. I don't know, man. Best one with... <laughs> OK, Mike McCallum, thank you so much for your time on IFL TV. Real boxing legend. Pleasure to speak to you, and uh, I'm sure we'll see you around soon. Yeah, you're very welcome. Thank, thank you, thank you.